Hey folks, it's Jeff with Gear Report. I've got a strange one for you this morning. I feel really weird about showing you this Mossberg International 715T. This is a 22 caliber long rifle. I believe it's based on their 702 Plinkster action and barrel that basically they've just wrapped it in some injection molded plastic to make it look like an AR-15. Um, purchased this. You know, here at Gear Report, a lot of the stuff we review like 90, 95% of what we review, it's sent to us by manufacturers. It's rare that I go out and spend money out of my pocket to get stuff to review. Um, not opposed to doing it, just typically don't need to because uh, brands are sending it to us. This one caught my eye because the tradition in my family is that when a boy turns 13, he gets a rifle. It's his birthday present, kind of the rite of passage thing. This was gonna be for my son when he turned 13. I thought, you know what, the way things are going, in his lifetime, it's conceivable. He may not be allowed to own an AR. Hope that isn't the case, but you know, the way politics are going, who knows? So let me get him something that, uh, at the very least, um, it's gonna tick off some liberals and that's gonna make me happy. And uh, I don't know about him, but, so, so that was the idea, you know, let me get him something. It's gonna be kind of fun. It's still a semi-automatic 22. It has a 25 round magazine that you see in the package here. The bottom of it looks like an AR mag. The top of it's a typical 22 magazine. Um, bought it brand new, got a good deal on it. Uh, so I thought, I open it, take it out of the package and what I find is uh, a couple things that I found were disturbing that I wasn't expecting, like the charging handle. It's not real, it's just molded in. You can't pull anything, it's just there for looks. The uh, forward assist, again, there's not even a button, it's just a lump. So basically what we have here is one side of this is molded together. The other side is molded, it's held together with a couple screws. They've just taken a 702 and they put some plastic on it to make it look like an AR. Now, it may be a great rifle, I don't know, but there's a little bit of a premium you pay to get this over a regular 702, and all it is is some cheap plastic. It's not good plastic. This isn't, you know, I'm a polymer guy. Don't, don't think I'm a polymer snob or a wood snob or a steel snob. You know, uh, I grew up on Glock 17s. I like polymer handguns. I, I really do. Uh, I carried an M9 when I was in the Air Force, so I'm down with the steel frame handguns as well. Uh, I like a variety of different types of weapons. I'm certainly not against polymer frame guns uh, or using polymer in guns, but this is like some of the cheapest Toys R Us. Um, and you know, Toys R Us, I apologize. I'm not bashing the toys you have on your toy aisle, the toy guns, but honestly, the plastic used in this, the fit, the finish, the quality, the feel, the look of it, it looks like what you would find in the cheaper section of the firearms toys at Walmart. It, it really does. The, uh, it has a sight. So you see the rear sight here. It has a little bit of adjustability. Uh, it, it's just a lateral adjustment via a screw here. Really, really uh, high-pitched threads on these. So you get a lot of movement when you turn it, not a lot of fine adjustment. You got some vertical adjustment here. Yeah, it's good you got both of those, but how accurate are they gonna be with this wobbly, cheap plastic? Probably not much at all. On the front here, we have the pin for the front sight is molded in. It's not something you can rotate. It's made to look like a rotatable AR-15, you know, A2 front sight pin, but it's not. Um, Overall, really, I was sufficiently disappointed with this Mossberg International 715T. We're not even firing it. I am actually in about two minutes, as soon as I turn the camera off, I'm bagging it, putting it back in the box, going to meet someone who's going to buy it from me. Hadn't even been shot yet. Brand new. I was sufficiently disappointed in this uh, Mossberg when I opened it that uh, selling it without even shooting it. And that says a lot for me, is I'm willing to give anything a try. That's what we do here at Gear Report. So I think it speaks volumes that I don't even want to take the time to review this. So pretty disappointed. And I'll tell you, I've had a, uh, a Mossberg shotgun for almost 20 years. Uh, what is it, 835 Ultimag? 
I'm pretty fond of it, actually. That's why I took the chance on this. When a friend of mine, who's Chris, an NRA instructor that works with Gear Report on occasion, he told me, I don't know, I don't think I'd buy that one. I've, I've seen better. I've heard bad re reports on it. I don't think you're going to like it. I held off for about nine months after he told me that, and then I saw it on sale. And I had a weak moment. Um, I'm sure none of you can relate to that, having a weak moment when it comes to finding guns on sale, but I pulled the trigger, so to speak, and, and I got buyer's remorse already. So uh, we're going to take care of that in about one minute when I box it and go put it in the car to go sell it. So uh, sorry, Mossberg, I don't like what you've done here. Um, maybe a great rifle, I don't know, but you packaged it in such shoddy, ill-fitting, cheap-looking crap. I don't even want to give it a chance. So uh, stick with us here at Gear Report, folks. As you can see, not everything we review do we give five star reviews, four and a half star, four star reviews. Uh, not even shooting it, I'm going to give this a, a two and a half because it may have a good gun underneath. I'm just having trouble seeing past the crappy exterior. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'll take it to Walmart, see if they want to put it in the toy section because that's kind of where it looks like it belongs. But, hope you have a good one. Check us out on YouTube. We've got a lot of great videos up there, a lot of positive videos. A lot of the stuff we get sent, we actually we ask for it because we think we're going to like it. We're going to have fun reviewing it. We do good reviews. Not everything's as disappointing like this, but as you can see, you're going to get the truth from Gear Report. So whether I love it or hate it, I'm going to tell you. So we'll see you around. Like us on Facebook. Check us out on YouTube. Please subscribe, and we'll see you at the range.